three, two, three, two, one. Oh, you have to do it with your fingers. <laughs> My little My YouTube, YouTube friends. friends. It's not YouTube. <laughs> Child abuse. Hey, this is where hey. I got my accent from. Suka. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> the threes Hello. and the twos. Hello, Hello. my friends. My little my YouTube, YouTube friends. <laughs> my little YouTube friends. <laughs> you guys got me to bring my mother on here. Give it to me. So Aliyah literally thinks my mom is her mom and I'm her bitch, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this peasant named Harosh. I belong with my grandmother. My grandmother treats me very nice. I like a human food sometimes and this bitch doesn't allow me to have it. Even though I could go blind, I like a chocolate a lot. Fuck you, Harosh. We are here filming an over 40 tutorial. You guys asked, I'm here to deliver. My Maja is 53 years old. Follow her right here, follow her holes right now. Skin by tea, skin by tea. Anybody that I talk about facial wise, this is her who I'm speaking about. Look at the skin, okay? Very nice, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it very nice. <laughs> So for older skin tones, everyone always thinks for some reason, the more powder, the better. Honestly, the less powder, the better. And half the time, it's not the makeup that you're putting on. You need really good skincare that's gonna do most of the work for you. I like to stay the f away from primer when I'm doing mature skin because it actually intensifies the wrinkles, just makes you look older. It's not the vibe. You wanna make the skin Zooey, you want to make it Zooey, my YouTube friends. Now, how'd she say it? YouTube friends. <laughs> it has a nice bounce back, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to let you in on one of the biggest secrets I have. In my classes, I show this entire routine, how I prep skin before I begin makeup. Now, my Maja does not like a lot of makeup. Like, I've practiced on her so many times when I began, and when I look back, <laughs> Do you remember when I would poof your hair up so high mm -hmm. and put red lipstick on you and like make her eyes like so dark and like cat eye? Not the vibe. She likes more of a natural situation going on. It took a lot to get her to get on camera. She hates being on camera, you guys. I'm listening. Okay, mother. She's listening. It must be nails on a chalkboard listening to me mm -hmm. talk about skincare. Is it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to start a GoFundMe account. I need my own channel or I'm quit. I quit. I quit, I said. I quit. I'm done being cute for all of you. Farewell. So long. F*** her song. I want to jump off a bridge every time I hear the stupid song. Oh my gosh, Harush, stop it. If you guys can translate what she's saying, please comment down below. She's super shady. She took a <laughs> shit on me today, okay? And my mom loves it that she did that. She was cracking up. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do over 50 makeup and I'm gonna show you like 10 tricks that is gonna make it so, so super duper 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 Two hours later. Duper 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 easy. So come on bitches, have a seat. Pen, paper, class is in session. The first step that we are going to take is going to be Truth Serum. Do you approve of the serum? Yes, I do. So what the serum does is it plumps and creates like this beautiful radiance for your skin. And I like to use this before I use the glow cycle. So I think for mature skin, using the glow cycle is amazing because it just brightens and illuminates your face. So I'm gonna take three pumps of this and I'm going to begin in an upward motion. So this has vitamin C and it plumps and it hydrates the skin. So give me some tips, skin by tea. Just do everything upwards. So upwards. Yes. And gentle. <laughs> Not slapping, gentle. <laughs> Have you guys seen those facials? You guys, this is how you're supposed to do it. Only on your mother, though. No. You know, like that. <laughs> that is how you do it, my friends. Look at the blood flow on this side. Look at the difference. Uh-huh. We made her cheeks rosy. Chin down a little bit. My mom has this tendency of going like this when I do her makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with the Ule Hendrickson Glow Cycle Retin ALT Power Serum. So I love this serum and it's great for contouring and highlighting and what it does, it brightens and hydrates. Like look at my like fingers already. I like to only target it in the center of her face, like kind of like where you would highlight, right? You guys see how like glowy her skin looks already? And again, lymphatic drainage. 
and on the center of her forehead. Now I'm going to put on my favorite under eye cream, the Banana Bright Ule Hendrickson Cream. It brightens your under eye with vitamin C and actually, actually, she's rubbing off on me. It helps your concealer wear last longer without creasing when you use eye cream. So you're gonna use less concealer by using this. This gives a beautiful golden glow underneath your eyes. Close your eyes. I like to put it on the eyelids as well and laugh lines. See how oh, her face looks already? Do you think you can do that better than me? I'm done. So are you saying I won? Yes, you won. No, you always do win. it. <laughs> you always win. Because <laughs> I am the champion. So if you guys didn't know, my mom used to be an opera singer. That's why I'm doing it. She's super shy and I just wanted to show you guys her skills on camera. She's still holding back. I am, yeah. Now we are moving on to two products I actually like mixing together. So the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Serum is a lightweight formula that has a 24 hour hold. Also the Ule Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. Now I say that I hate face primers, genuinely but this one i kind of look at it as like a radiance boost not really a primer i like the way these two mix together and then how it holds foundation i already have her foundation put on here it's 30c in chanel and i'm going to pump the banana and then what i'm going to do is put you know what asmr is mom no have you ever seen people that like whisper in mics oh no when they do that, mm -hmm. that's ASMR. <laughs> kind of a whisper in your ear like that. Hey, how you doing, love, mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something that you might like to hear. Got six ass. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this brush to like really lay it on, because I don't want to put on too much foundation. Everything is vitamin C infused, and it has stronghold. So since you're the skincare expert, do you want to blend it into your face? Always sanitize your hands before you touch your face. No, oh, rules okay. are changed. <laughs> okay, show them how you do it. How do you sanitize your hands? I'm massaging the product upwards to my face and it will also help to lift my skin. Look who I brought onto the channel, amazing esthetician, to show you guys how to put on moisturizer because me, I'm like, <laughs> she's the calmest human being you've ever met in your entire life. And then there's me in the corner like, <laughs> Did you ever look at me and question my sanity? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really growing up sometimes. Um, <laughs> let's keep that private. <laughs> We're gonna start on her contour and then work our way into the foundation. When you're mature, you can't do too much contouring. I suggest doing liquid contouring versus powder contouring. The less powder you do, the better for you. The less powder you do, the better for you. We are gonna grab the Graftobian number two palette, warm palette, and we are going to grab the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush, F15 a brush. I do not follow the rules. I'm going to pick up on the third color because she is lighter and I'm going to deposit a little on the back of my hand and I will begin very lightly. So the reason why I like this product, it is very bright but it is very thin. Professional foundations and professional products are very very light and very saturated. So I'm just going to warm up her cheeks because instead of using like powder bronzers and so on and so forth we're gonna achieve the bronzy look all with liquids now what i'm doing is motion down and then i'm blending up this works really amazing for like body makeup as well and i'm going to pull that down don't forget the ears so now we've added depth and saturation to the skin. We are going to move on to the lighter tone, which is the first tone, to use as highlighting. Like, look at how, like, buttery this product is. It's, like, thinner than anything you've ever used. I'm going to use it on the center of her face. You don't even need foundation over it. You could just stick to this product with these two colors, and there you go. And what I like to do with this, especially for under the eye, 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of the under eye brightness cream, blend it into the Graftobian. Look up. And I'm just going to pat it in. As thin as the product is, this is going to be thinner. And it gives like a really pretty glow. And on her eyelids. Does it feel like you have on like makeup? No, I only feel that I have moisturizer and my skin feels actually very moist. So now what you're gonna do with that is grab a little bit more and we are going to go underneath the contour. I'm going to pick up on my Bobbi Brown Chestnut. I'm gonna go into my Sigma 4D HD Pyramid Brush. Dab it out, don't directly just put it on your eye. It's gonna connect into her eyebrow and I'm actually gonna push the chestnut into her brows instead of giving her like a powder. I'm giving her like a liquid backdrop. And I'm going to cut her nose. Now anything you do on mature skin, you need to do it like lighter. Everything, use the back of your hand to kind of like deplete the product. It shouldn't be too much. Less is more. So I'm going to use if you are older and you're looking for a concealer, this is amazing because it's super lightweight and it's illuminating. The Becca Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. This shit works. If you are a pro, please don't directly use this. That's nasty. And I'm just going to grab a flat concealer brush and I'm going to place it underneath. If you're older, you have crow's feet. Why the f would you pull the concealer up and stick it in your crow's feet. Concealer is literally needed right over here. When we pull it up, that's to give us the effect, okay? We don't need to pull the concealer into her crow's feet right here and let everybody know what her age is on a loudspeaker. Let me show you right here. Okay, you guys see right here where the concealer is needed. Very little goes a long way. I'm gonna do down the bridge of her nose actually with honey from NARS just because we can put less of this stuff and it's brighter. Now, using chestnut and a really small MAC stippling brush and picking up on that one brush from Senna, we're gonna go back in and just giving her more brown for contour, but like see how little I did? And I'm gonna use this brush to blend it. Notice how I don't hold my brush like this. Half of it is in the technique of how you use your brushes. I hold it like a little fancy, a little bit over here. We're only using like a tiny bit of the chestnut. So highlight, contour, saturation. That's the equilibrium of like creating a face gradient. Now I'm gonna go back with this brush and just blend it all together. Now, with this brush, I will pick up a little bit of the foundation. Literally, I still break it up on the back of my hand. I don't want too much of it. I just want the color to lightly veil all of this. And we're gonna start from the bottom and push it up. I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit with a damp beauty blender and just push in the product now on her face. It's very light actually. And I'm not swiping you guys, I'm just pushing the product in. Now we're gonna go in with the Sigma Small Duo Fiber F55 brush, very lightly. It's a clean brush. I'm just buffing over her whole face because I'm removing what does not belong. Now we are gonna go in Sigma Short Shader E20 brush because I like her lips bigger. And she doesn't, but so it's my YouTube channel, so I'll draw on a mustache if I want to. And I like to like already begin with the lip with using this technique. We are going to use liquid blush orgasm. Orgasm. You know what that means, Mom? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Going to dab it. Smell? Mm-hmm. Now she has really, really high cheekbones for those of you trolls that wanted to come for me and be like, you know your cheeks, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is who I got it from. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on a lot and then we'll blend it out. And 
blush to me is very youthful, so I like to like go in on the forehead as well with this, chin, and her eyes. So using the back of my beauty blender, I'm going to stamp that in. Now I'm going to set her under eyes with Surratt. It is called the Loose Powder Compact from Surratt. Let me just clean my hand because it looks like I went to Sephora and sampled everything. Um, so the Surratt Loose Powder Compact. Now the reason why I like this is it's super brightening and it's very finely milled. So I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit, put it on the back of my hand and really work it into the brush. Look out for me. And I'm just going to swipe it. You guys look what that powder did. Look at it! So this is like literally one of my like favorite miracle powders for mature skin. It is on the pricier side. It really does the job. Now I'm going to blend her lip situation. Picking up on more powder. Very lightly. Very lightly on the chin. Very lightly and around the nose. And I'm gonna actually use this on her eyes because her eyes get oily. Now we move on to the eyebrows. So now we are gonna get a spoolie and I am going to brush her eyebrows down. With older mature skin, you don't wanna overdo like drawing in the brows, it's just not cute. Like, you know, like how everyone does the Instagram or the TikTok brows, the Snapchat brows. It's not the vibe for a mature woman. The trick is not to show the age, okay? So make it look as natural as possible. I'm gonna grab the Auburn because I think redness infuses youth. And I'm just lightly pressing it in to where her tattooed area was. We're brushing it down. And I'm not swiping, I'm patting it in. So now we are gonna pick up on a Benefit pencil in number four. I'm gonna brush her brows up and from the stem, I'm gonna pull up and create real brush strokes, like hair strokes. So I'm gonna spray hairspray on the back of the spoolie and I'm gonna make sure her hair stands exactly where I drew in all of that to cover it. For the makeups on her eyes, I'm not gonna do too much eyeshadow. So I depot all my shadows, these are the palettes. They are my lifesaver. Literally, like, every single thing I own, I depot. I will label underneath what it is. Some call me psychopath, some call me organized, I don't know. I like Viseart for mature skin because it's literally like butter and it's very neutral tones. So one more time using a Morphe M218 brush. I'm just going to tap it just on her crease. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go into the Viseart. It's the neutral matte palette. There's no names. It's the peachiest tone and the light tones. I'm gonna pick up a lot and then dust it all off. So I'm just going to pat it in on her crease to warm it up and then I'll pull out to the tail of her brow. Now I am going to pick up on a Morphe M513 brush and I'm going to pick up on this neutral brown and create a crease for her. And I'm gonna start from the edge, back it in. Now what this does, it's for anyone that has like a droopy lid. We are creating another lid for you. And then pulling that in to the side of the nose and right where the brow begins. I'm going to go in with this beautiful brown color using a Morphe M431 brush, it's like a pencil brush. I'm going to lift and very lightly get that into as close as I can to her lash line. And now what I'm going to do, I don't want to leave a harsh line, so I'm going to blend that up. Now I am going into her tight line using the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. I'm just <laughs> going to get her tight line. Now with a Makeup Forever Pro Finish 174, which is like that. I'm going to pick up with a Sigma Exact Blend E32 and I'm just going to lightly pat it underneath her lash line. Instead of putting eyeshadow there, I rather have coverage and color. Using a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to take the whitest tone in the Viseart palette and I'm just going to like 
open up this area. Using the high brow by Benefit, I am going to go just right underneath her brow bone. And that like gives a lifting effect to her eyebrows. And using a synthetic brush, I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to use a Sigma Medium Angled Shading Brush, E70. And I'm going to use the Artist Face Color from Makeup Forever, H106. I'm going to bring it down the center of her nose and just a little bit on the tip. We're gonna spray her down for a second to break up the products on her face. While that is setting, I'm going to curl her lashes and put on some mascara. Lift, I'm gonna do bottom, like from the top, shake and pull up. This is a cool trick to make your lashes look way thicker than it is. It's like double coating them. And if you have bottom lashes, I would just do a tiny bit so I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Chanel leftover and I'm actually gonna go over the powder to give her that glow back again. So this powder and certain powders are okay to go over with liquid because it is finely milked. Now we put some glue on the back of my hand for some individuals. So um, I'm going to use the waterproof liner Bible from Il Maquillage. So I'm gonna use a powder puff and I'm going to connect her Cupid's bow and kind of go around the area that I contoured more this way. And I'll fill in her whole lip with the lip color. And then I can go in with the foundation and go around her lip and clean it up. And then I'm going to use Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury just in the center. So the glue is ready to go, and she's ready for her lash extensions. I'm gonna recurl her lashes one more time, look down. So if you guys didn't know, waterproof mascara actually curls better than regular mascara. So for an older person, waterproof mascara works better. So I'm gonna use Freedom 7s on her. They're pretty natural looking. I'll start with the center and then work my way to the edge. And I'll kind of like hold them up for them to dry. The last eyelash open so under her eyes very lightly i'm gonna go in with the universal powder i'm gonna use the tart i don't even know what this is called just where this line is see how like that side has that line still and this just took it away i'm gonna pick up on the mark jacobs this is the spot glow stick i'm gonna grab a little bit and i'm just very lightly not putting it on her crow's feet just like where her cheek is and I'm going to cheat the eye where her cheekbone is. Don't put it here. Right here above her cheek. I have the eyebrow, the arch of it. <laughs> she likes messy hair like me. <laughs> Can I tape you up? Can I put yes. tapes on? Okay, so I want to show you guys how to put tapes on because she's finally letting <laughs> You can use this daytime, nighttime, whatever you want. You want nighttime, put on a red lip and you're ready to go. Be a judge. It looks amazing. So if you guys want to put on tapes after you've put on makeup, you just take a toner, a makeup wipe, and I already know where I'm going to put it on her, which is right there. I'm going to remove the foundation right here. She has like better hair texture than me, which is annoying. I already have the tapes on. I'm going to undo it, grab it from the edge, and place it where I cleaned it up and kind of over her hair. Do you guys see the difference? Wow. Moving on to the other side. So now we can go like super tight like that. I don't suggest it. So comment down below if you guys liked it with tapes, without tapes, I mean, but come on like. Alright, thank you guys so so much for watching. If you guys love this tutorial with me and my mama, please let me know. I will do more. I will hold her captive and do whatever look you guys <laughs> want on her. Please, please, please follow her Skin by T. Like, subscribe. I love you guys so 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 much. Thank you for watching.